Welcome back to Undercover. I'm Carl, and in this week's episode, we're going to talk about melody and the steps that we can take to learn a melody in the song Chinese New Year by Sales. So melodies are pretty difficult to figure out, um, but I got good news for you. The more you do it, the easier it gets. So today I'm going to walk you through my strategy for figuring out melodies, which has helped me a lot over the years. Now this lesson is going to uh, involve a little bit of music theory, but don't worry. Included below will be the links to other resources, and I'll be referring to the previous episodes of Undercover, so if you want to go back to watch those, you can. Now, because we're working with or on an arrangement, I want to teach you not only how to figure out a melody, but how to write it out as well. Uh, so if you're working with wind instruments like the trumpet or the bassoon, um, the, it's a lot easier for them to read music uh, than just come with it learned. Uh, so Jeanette and Isabel have established the chords already, so our job with the melody notes is going to be a lot easier. For this episode, however, we're going to talk about figuring out rhythm. So let's go over our basic rhythms really quick. We have a half note, which looks like this. A half note is one note extended over two beats and it sounds like this. A quarter note uh, is one note per beat, and it sounds like this. Eighth notes are two notes to a beat, and it sounds like this. The last basic rhythm we're going to talk about today is a dotted quarter note, which is a beat and a half. When you add a dot to something, it's one and a half times that note. So half of a quarter note is an eighth note. So a dotted quarter note is a quarter note plus an eighth note. Now humans are pretty good at recognizing rhythms. You may have heard your teacher clap this rhythm before. So try clapping that rhythm and tap your foot to the beat. You can use this chart to identify the rhythms. Now that we've gone over our basic rhythms, let's talk about how we can figure out rhythms in the context of a song. So first we want to listen to the song and determine uh, what time signature it is. That means how many beats are there per measure. Now, in most popular music, you will find songs in what's called 4-4 four, four time signature, which means there are four beats per measure. Also, in a lot of popular music, you'll be able to hear drums emphasizing beats two and four. This is really helpful for figuring out the rhythms, because if you're listening to the drums, you'll be able to hear where in the measure the melody is. So let's listen to Chinese New Year and clap on beats two and four. Since this song is pretty fast, uh, you might need to slow it down, but don't worry. YouTube has an awesome slowdown feature that Jeanette mentioned in her first video. So now that we've listened to Chinese New Year, after what beat did the melody come in on? If you said beat two, you're correct. So I'm going to throw another two terms at you, downbeat and upbeat. Now when a melody comes in on the downbeat, it's playing right on the beat, like this. When a melody comes in on the upbeat, it is playing on a different part of the beat, usually the and. Which example is right? So I'm going to play the song, and then I'm going to play those examples again.
which example was right? Well, if you said the second one where I came in on the upbeat, you'd be right. So one more tip to throw at you before we go. If you listen to lyrics like I do, you can write down your notation and then practice singing along with a song to check your rhythms. Uh, and this is helpful with thinking about syllables. How many syllables per beat is the song using? I see you at the movies, like that first line, I see you at the movies. The first five words are just one syllable words, uh, which usually means there is one note uh, per syllable. I should add that the best way uh, to figure out any melody is to be familiar with it. Uh, just listening to it over and over. Will help ingrain the melody and make it easier to figure out. So thank you all for tuning in this week. Be sure to pop by next week where I teach you how to figure out the notes uh, in Chinese music. Uh -huh.